flow of genetic information in cells. Cells have a set of instructions that specify their structure, dictate their functions and regulate their activities. These instructions can be faithfully passed on to the next generations or the daughter cells. We are not unaware about the works of Gregor Mendel. He was the father of genetics and he performed experiments on Pisum sativum that is garden bee. He discovered that hereditary information is transmitted as discrete factors which retain their identity in hybrids. These distinct units were later termed as genes. Let us talk about genes. Gene, the term, was coined by Danish botanist Wilhelm Johansson in 1909. It is a unit of heredity that may influence the outcome of an organism's traits. Genes consist of DNA sequences that code for functional products, usually protein chains. Whenever we talk about genes, we cannot escape mentioning about alleles. Alleles are alternative forms of a gene. They code for a contrasting version of an inherited trait. So for example, if the trait is height, then a person can be tall or short which is determined by the allele present in that organism. They occupy corresponding positions on the homologous chromosomes and the one which is the dominant is going to express itself in that particular organism. They control the same characteristic but produce different effects. So if the characteristic is height, then different effects will be tall and short. So given a pair of homologous chromosomes having same set of genes in the same sequence, however alleles may not be identical. So we have a A and capital A and small a, they are the alleles which controls trait 1, capital B and small b are the alleles controlling trait 2. C capital C and small c are the alleles controlling trait 3 and capital D and small d are the alleles controlling trait 4. So whichever allele is dominant is going to express itself in that particular organism and will therefore produce a particular effect in that organism. There can be different types of alleles, wild type and mutant alleles. So a wild type allele is the one which is prevalent in a population. They encode proteins that are made in accurate amount and function normally. So if we have a population of birds whose the beak color is red, so all the birds will be having a red colored beak provided there are some birds which will be having an orange colored beak. So the possibility is that there is a mut mutation in the gene coding for that color of the beak in those birds which are showing orange color. So, a mutant alleles are the ones which are present at less than 1% in a population. They are altered by mutation. They result in loss of function and reduced amount of a gene and inherited recessively. So there can be wild type and mutant alleles in a population. Then dominant and recessive alleles. Dominant alleles are the ones which masks or hides expression of a recessive allele and they are represented by uppercase letter. Recessive allele, they, are, they show effect only in homozygous state. In heterozygous condition, its effect is masked by dominant alleles and they are represented by lowercase letter. Now let us talk about the flow of genetic information between generations of cells. We will be talking about the flow of genetic information within a cell as well. But if we talk about between generation of cells, we will talk about these processes. So the genetic information which is stored in the nucleus of a cell in the form of DNA undergoes replication, that is DNA synthesis. Two identical copies of DNA are generated which are then distributed to the daughter cells when cell division or mitosis occurs. So this is DNA replication and this is how the genetic information is transmitted between generation of cells. Then how does genetic information is transmitted within a cell? The genetic information residing in DNA is transmitted in a two-stage process called transcription and translation. Transcription is synthesis of RNA and translation is synthesis of protein. So messenger RNA is synthesized enzymatically copying information from DNA as a result of transcription. During translation, the mRNA determines the amino acid sequences of a protein which have specific functions to perform in a cell. We'll be talking about DNA replication, transcription and translation in detail in the upcoming videos.